What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I've got the Imperial Hover Tank Driver and uh, I'm going to repaint it. So let's get started. All right, that's right repaints so if you guys have seen i actually did a repaint on my batman right here and i was pretty pleased with the way this came out so i've i've sort of been wanting to repaint this one and i've had some people actually tell me to do a video on it however there's a lot better people that do this than me but uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna give it a shot and the first thing we gotta do is get it out of the box. All right. Let's see here. Get... Oh, making all the noise. All right, first and foremost, um, the figure itself, it's it does have some things on it and I'm curious on how I'm actually gonna do this, so I don't know. It it may turn out good and it may not. But I got to uh, watch some certain areas. Uh, I think right in here is one area. These little vents, uh, the buckles, things like that. Uh, we do have some vents and stuff. So it's it's going to be an interesting process for sure. Uh, I may actually, I don't know yet. I may put a soft good on it, but uh, for now, let's. Get the paint. All right, so to begin with, uh, the color I've chose is the Death Core Drab right here from Citadel. And uh, I'll probably throw some music to this video. Uh, may do it some time lapse. I don't know yet, but I definitely will not be talking through the whole video. But anytime I change paints or anything like that, um, I will be talking. But uh, yeah, right there, this is going to be the. Uh, the first coat so or the first layer so let's get this started I'm <laughs> 
So I wanted to talk a little bit because I actually should have done this first, but I didn't think about it. Basically, in a nutshell, I just caught an audible on this uh, paint scheme, and I wanted to actually paint the belt a different color. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, right here, I just took a uh, Zacco knife, just done a little trim right here. And then when I get ready to put the belt back on, I can just glue it back into place. There's actually a uh, recessed section here. So it should make it pretty easy to uh, put back in place. But uh, I'm actually thinking about painting the uh, belt a different color. I'm thinking possibly uh, this right here, this uh, Xandra Dust. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to go with a lighter color. Um, I may go with this uh, Armageddon dust. Nope, not going with that. That's a grit. Let me look at this one real quick. I don't know, just to give it a little bit of difference um, in the paint scheme. So, yeah, I think I'm going to paint it that color. So, yeah. I'm going to take the belt and this, this will be more of a, a tannish color, but, uh, yeah, I think it'll go with it. So let's get started painting this. All right, so uh, yeah, there we go. I've actually got a couple coats on it, and uh, I'm actually digging this uh, this green. It's actually a really really cool color, but uh, yeah, I dig it. I'm probably going to do some accent colors, but not a tremendous amount. But there's the belt, which I'm digging that as well. So I haven't quite decided yet. There's a, uh, this, uh, Sterling mud, which I actually like this. Um, there's also this Armageddon dust. 
which these paints have a, uh, a grit to them, as you can see right there. And this mud, let me get that shook up. Right there, it's, it's a dark. So I may actually um, use some of this on his boots and the pants area. Not 100% sure yet. And possibly this um, Armageddon dust. There's also this uh, corrosion right here. Which, let's get that one. Is that one even? There we go. It's actually a pretty cool color too. So I don't know yet. I'm I'm just experimenting here and there, but I think I'm actually going to do the uh, this mud right here just to see what it looks like on the uh, the boots. We'll see how it goes. And basically, that's exactly what. I mean, it is what it says it is. It's 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 basically like like a mud. So to me, having that on the boots makes the most logical sense. And since it's a darker color, we'll put it on first. And then, if I want to put some of the uh, Armageddon dust on there or the corrosion, we can go from there. But, I mean, the boots have to be dirty, for me anyway. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, you got to have them dirtied up, but to me it just makes sense to have, have them dirtied up. And even the uh, gauntlets up here, just, you know, like I said, it just it makes sense to me to have it done this way. But that's the beauty of customizing a figure is you can pretty much do it however you want to do it. That's the beauty of it. But there's uh, what that one looks like compared to the other one. So I'm, I'm actually going to uh, even incorporate a little bit up into the trouser area. You know, because... Hey, my troopers, you know, he's, uh, he's out there getting, he's getting, he's getting down to business. He's, he's not sitting behind a desk. <laughs> and then, you know, there's probably a lot of technical ways of, of doing this, but to me, it's just get in there and just do it. So that's just the way. I'm sort of doing, uh, my approach on this is not, not necessarily technical, but just by eye and just looking at it and just seeing, just seeing how it actually looks and going from there. I'm actually thinking about doing, uh, a line right here. I don't know yet, but, uh, for now I just want to get his get him to where he's actually looks like he's been uh been fighting so and you can i think you could you can probably tell and see a little bit of the difference in it but it's uh like i said it's a it's a darker color it's a brown color it's you know like mud so i think this is something that can be used pretty much all over the figure You know, get some of these high spots down in these crevices, especially right down through here. I think it's a really good spot to, uh, you know, just dab it in there. Yeah. But there you go. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep doing this and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the, um, I actually added a little bit of the corrosion. Uh, we've got the mud applied. So now I'm going to use some of this uh, dust. And it's just going to be just 
just very, very lightly um, around the, the lower half. Almost like a dry brushing effect, but this should give us a little bit of, you know, different texturing, and especially on the, on the boots. Just for that little bit of a, a mud, more muddy, you know, look to it, so... And again, you're not, or I'm not putting it on like extremely heavy at all. It's just, just certain spots. Just building the layers. And since this the, is the lighter of the colors, you definitely want to put it on, on top of your dark colors. And the brush I'm using right here, it's a really just a, just a nice little frayed uh, brush. It's not really a fine, fine tip brush. I'm just putting it right there on the end of the bristles and just going over it just ever so lightly. It's almost like a it almost creates like a little bit of a splatter right there. Hopefully the camera can pick it up as, as good as I'm seeing it. I'm hoping, but I'm just coming on up the legs a little bit and just, just a little, a little bit actually goes a long way. To tell you the truth. You don't really need a lot. Or for, for my application, you don't need a lot. Now, you may want to uh, do it a little heavier. And that's the beauty of painting. You can create whatever you want to create. It's, it's, your, it's your creation. That's the, that's the wonderful part about customizing something or making it you know, sort of your own. And don't be afraid to use your fingers either. Get in there and rub it out and smear it around a little bit. I don't want those toes to be. And again, I'm just going to work my way up, maybe do a little bit on the armor itself. Just little nuances. If I think I got a little bit too much, I'll just tap it on my paper towel right here and that'll uh, get rid of the uh, the excess paint. Like I said, it's, it's just like dry brushing. I'm gonna put, put some down here in these little Especially in this, in the black areas, I think it, it's a really uh, good little spot to put some of this at along these edges. Yeah, this is, this is actually turning out better than uh, I thought it would. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, keep going and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I want to put, I want to try my hand at some uh, soft goods and this is uh, a first but I like soft goods so uh, might as well try it right so let's uh, yeah this will work so what I'm gonna do is I just cut a, a piece of uh, t-shirt material and I am going to just sort of dry fit it. This is sort of what I'm going to go for. Just a simple, you know, I may make it just a tad bit longer. I don't know. Let's see here. That one. Yeah, that one's a little longer. That may actually work out pretty good. Let's see here. It may be a little too wide, but Let's see what we got going on here. 
that might actually work out relatively good. Let me trim this little section off right here. There we go. Let's see how that's a little a little out of uh, square, but that may not be such a bad thing. Let me look here. Let's do a little test bit. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So, let me look here on the... Get my... Get me a set of uh, tweezers here. They come in handy. So I think what I'm going to do. And again, I do not know if this is the way most people do it. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> like I've uh, said, this is uh, definitely trial and error. But we're going to see. I'm assuming that most people, when they apply their soft goods, I'm assuming they glue them, like super glue them. I could be wrong, but uh, that's, that's the way I'm doing it. Just a little dab right there. Let me take my tweezers here. Actually, I'm going to make sure because I need to make a little uh, adjustment on this one. All right, right there. Voila. All right. And there's a little bit of, uh, if you remember, there's that uh, piece for the belt right here that there's a, a, a hole right there. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut this little section out. I'm going to put some glue on both sides, cut this out, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, so what I decided to do was I actually cut that little notch off. And I wanted to see how well this belt with this uh, soft good actually came back together. And it actually comes back together relatively, relatively good. I was uh, actually worried that um, it might actually be a little too tight. But I think, I think I can make this work. So what I'm going to actually do is, I think I'm going to... Take my heat gun, heat this up a little bit because I got a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to take my heat gun, heat this up, and pull this uh, out a little bit to lengthen it. So, uh, yeah, let me see if that works. All right, we got the belt back on right there. That's where I glued it back in place. And so far, it is actually looking pretty good I'm gonna, uh, I do have my soft good a little bit out of uh, out of alignment but I'm okay with that I am perfectly fine with that I'm actually gonna cut a little bit of a, a bit of a break in it right there and one other thing I want to do uh, to this uh, soft good is I want to dirty it up. So I am going to take the uh, Sterling mud again and because it looks a little too clean then I'll probably so you can actually use this on the fabric as well but we're going to dirty this thing up. I mean you know we can't we can't have this, you know, pristine looking. I may actually uh, put some uh, 
tears and stuff in the uh, in the soft good itself. I don't know yet, but just take your finger, rub it in there. Just put some on it. And just start rubbing it in. That's the that's the approach I'm taking. <laughs> I think that approach uh, will work pretty good. And also, don't forget the inside as well. Just like I said, just dirty it up, flip it upside down. And... So I'll tell you what, I'm going to continue doing this and uh, I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So we're done. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this different video, but I actually was in, I was actually wanting to do this project and I figured, uh, I've had some people actually ask me to do one of these, so figured why not, but beard's all jacked up. <laughs> I will tell you this, uh, these things are great when it comes to painting figures, but enough of that. You guys want to see the final product, so uh, here we go. Here is my repainted uh, Imperial Hover Tank uh, Pilot. Right there, got some soft goods going on. And overall, I think this thing turned out really, really good. Uh, my inspiration for this was uh, Mandalorian, the transport driver, uh, but I may add some other stuff to it at some point. Uh, I don't know, but I actually bought some ribbon, but I bought the wrong kind of ribbon. Uh, so I was gonna add like a little sling or something, but there we go, guys, right there. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I did a good job, a bad job. Just let me know. But I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did uh, doing this. All together, I've got a... Uh, this video is actually relatively short, but uh, the overall process, I've got about two hours in this, give or take. So, uh, yeah, but... I will tell you this, this was fun. This was a lot of fun, but uh, for sure, please let me know what you think of my, you know, repainted hover tank pilot. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if this is your first time in my channel, I uh, need you to join the movement 21K in 2021. It's easy. All you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on and you're, you're in. That's how easy it is. Uh, like I said earlier, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I love comments. And you need to always remember, customizing toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.